Hello folks and welcome back to Vintage Survival and we are in the midst of January so that's time we have been busy so we got this field all done and as a result we got enough money just to afford our new windrower and somewhere over there is our forge wagon. Now in this episode we got a few things to do. For one, turn this field over so we can start producing soybeans. However, it needs plowing and it needs lime, so we need to change things up a lot because for yeah, get the coal vein done would take us too long in that. However, we need to plow this field. And that involves using this and this is my biggest fear because I don't know if we're able to pull this or not. Can we lift it? Okay, we can lift it. Good. Because, yeah, we need to not only plow it, but lime it as well. So, so much for getting those harvesting contracts done. So, got to rip her in. And off we we go. And getting rocks. It's not really too much we can do on that unless we want to roll them in. But there are huge rocks as well, so looks like I'm gonna have to maybe rock pick these. Because yeah, these are huge stones, right? So get rid of that a sec. Yeah, we're getting huge stones coming up here, so that is just lovely. And actually, what is the horsepower requirement for this? So the plow is a hundred horsepower at seven miles an hour, and this is like seventy-five, seventy-eight horsepower and two-wheel drive. It's got duties on it. Don't get me wrong. But, for the time being, looks like we are doing just about alright. I think the duties are helping us, and we've got a 200 kilogram weight, I think it is, on the front of this. But this is gonna suck. Like, do we have any bigger plows, please? Uh, uh no. Two and a half meters at 60 horsepower for that one. And I'm going off track as well. Oh god, this is going to take us forever. As one of those things like, yeah, we can skip it and that, that ain't going to be a problem. However, because we're going to be doing soybeans, I want to get as much money as possible from this. I'm going to put the work in on it. So, the contracts. That is on the pause for the time being. And looks like we're on stick with this. Can we buy a rock picker though? So we've got a couple of options. We've got a rake. So that what that does is collects the stones and like wind rows them. Fair enough. And we've got this one here that could collect and store it. I could store three and a half thousand liters. But damn side is that costs fourteen grand and we've only got seven thousand six hundred and if you do the other contracts, which will take the entire episode's worth on its own. That's nine grand, so yeah, maybe you can just not afford it. But you know what? We'll skip it for the year, Nat. We'll deal with that. So yeah, let's start doing the plowing. Let's do it in a couple of stages, I think. Split this up between doing this and some of the harvesting work. So we'll get a helper. We spoke, put some. Notices out, spoke to some locals and that. 
and we've got a couple of people who are willing to come and help us out, so they ain't gonna be here for what, another hour or two at least, apparently, they ain't gonna be till mid-afternoon, so yep, yeah. let's get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. say about three quarters done the field so yeah that took us the best part of two hours but workers are in the area now so they'll be over soon and help out and it's only just the one worker at the moment well, I wish it was two because I could have had one on the seeding one on the harvesting and me doing the plowing and that so the most gone down a little bit it's by 1200 quid that's not because of the combine yet, that's because we have purchased a big load of lime, about four, eight thousand litres worth, so that's going to last us a while, I think. Because actually, both fields need to plough as well, so that field will deal with that as and when down the road, because at the moment. We need to get this focus, we'll just focus on one field first of all. Get one field turned over and prepped at a time. Actually, uh, do we merge those fields? Nope, no, not going to merge them. Simply don't have the time, because if we had to put a bit more time, then yeah. We've got that field done, whack both fields together or something. But uh, yeah, we won't do that because we need also. We need to focus on diversifying our crop in that because I am thinking of putting like oats, sorghum or something in when we do that grass field over there. And that's because I'm looking at getting some chickens in, getting, you know, just a cheap pen in, like bits of wood or bits of brick in that, make a hut in that and the chickens themselves. That itself, maybe a couple of grand or so. Actually, I don't know. We need to look at that. I should look at that now. So, raise it up. Actually, how much would it be? So, be under our animals. So, chickens, we're looking at about four and a half grand, four and a half, five grand. Got that one there. Well, that's a huge area there, so we're looking at more of this, and maybe whack it over here somewhere? Yeah, maybe 
something like that. Obviously, I don't want it to block the side though. But also, we need to think about down the road about adding a bunker side clamp because how much is that going to cost us? Because there is a whole plethora of bunker sides we can go with. And yeah, 20 grand for some. Okay, that's 20 grand. 12 grand for a small one. Maybe, you know, just whack it something there. Doesn't get in the way of the shed, I don't think. I would say though, we can just reverse it in if needed. 20 grand there. No, that's for manure and that. Ooh, 10 grand. Of course, I got some of these ones. 6 grand. We can afford that, technically. 6 grand for that. Not too bad. Yeah, a bit of landscape, a bit of terraforming, but... Yeah, get our grass sorted. But it is a little inky dinky one, that is. Ideally, I want something a bit bigger than that. But yeah, we've got some options, so... Let's head to the dealership. And here it is, the FMZ Bison Gigant Z06. Lights, network. Steering, good. Reverse. And whack it to drive. Seems to work well. Let's get that combine unfolded. Bit of a creep to it, but overall, not too bad. So, yeah, just visual inspection, just looking at everything, but yeah, this is almost like brand new. This is like certainly it's been had a fresh coat of paint on it. So, anyways, let's go and transfer some money over to the bank. There we go. So, that is a grand. I'm thinking. We'll get started on this. And then uh, we should have a worker arriving any time now. Because that would help us get this done. And get that scene done. Because we're looking at maybe another two hours or so on that field before it's all completed. Yeah, at least another two hours or so. I'll say another half an hour, 45 minutes to get that done. And then the actual yeah, bit itself. So yeah, headers on this side, so there we go, just gonna couple that. There we go. And let's reverse it back up. Because yeah, this is fifty-seven. And yeah, this is a very small header this is, so this is going to take us a while. But hey, this could potential be very profitable for us. Like, I don't know how much extra crop we're going to have here, but yeah, this is going to be very profitable indeed for us. I think what we'll do is if we do the head of that. I figured we should have gone clockwise, not anti-clockwise, but... Oh well, should be fine get to the end at least. Because yes, we're what? 300 leaves in. 5% full, 6% full. And yeah, about almost halfway down the field, so... Yeah, we'll just get ahead and done here. So... I do not know where the worker is, so well I think I'm just gonna wait on this, like I've just gave him a, a notification and I'll try to notify them that. 
just passing the word on. Obviously, you didn't have any phones or anything here, but tried to ask around if anyone knows anything, but yeah, I don't know where the workers are. But anyways, let's start doing this ourselves. So yeah, let's get this done, and hopefully the workers should be here. Well, hopefully they should be here in time now, because we need to get start doing that field at the latest by five o'clock, because it's going to get dark around seven, and I don't be drilling in the night. So yeah, let's get this sorted and see where we stand afterwards. So we will be offloaded into the trailer, and finally the worker is here, so they're in currently at the farmyard and that, so we'll get them on this, and then we'll start re tending to our main field, so soybeans will be put in there, and I thought what's for here is empty the trailer, because yeah, it ain't going to be just one combine's worth. Yeah, at the moment we've done a third of the field, so yeah, not too bad in fairness, so we'll get to work on this, and then, yeah, we will start finishing off the coal vein, so I'll, I'll get a life for them at least, but in fairness, for, for a grand, for this, for what, two fields, whatever, Two fields, three fields, whatever. Ain't too bad. So, yeah. Let's go leave that running because he, these are quite finicky, these are. So, leave that running. We're around the corner anyway, so something catches fire. We'll be quickly on the scene. So, yeah. Let's go over and start doing the. We'll start finishing off the plowing. Well, actually, you know what? I'll get a worker doing the plowing that. Get him to do that job. Okay, fair enough, there's not much left to be doing on it, but you know what? I'll leave the work on that, whilst I focus on this. This is a lot funner for us to do, and yeah, it's something different, something new. And also for me personally, it gives me a chance to just sort of test the equipment in a way. Yes, this equipment will have a lot of arrows on it at some point. Maybe, if it gets so many X amount of arrows on it, the ship will supply for sale, to buy off them. Downside is repair costs and that, like maintenance and that. The more arrows you put on, the more it's going to wear, especially over time and that, over the coming years and that. All of that is a factor, but nevertheless, it is an option. So yeah, harvesters and that, have a look, so, yeah, 44 grand we said, and yeah, we do have other cheaper options, even 19 grand, if we want to, if needed, but a grand for, I think it's going to be more than two fields, I think it is, so, we get two fields done before I have to pay another grand, and I think if I was with the amount of light we're losing, we're going to be able to do this field and do, do 58 or 48. What's the difference? What's the different crop types? 58 is wheat. 
that's Yon's Oak, so this trips with the Oak Snap, but you know what? I'm going to do this, yeah. Let's get this all finished off, and I'll see you folks once we're done with the harvesting here. done and I have been absolutely stupid like I've completely forgot about putting the line down so this is going to really affect our yield bonus on this field of soybeans dang it thought I'd have everything all planned it out swap work over and out but just completely forgot about the line in that man that is and accelerates the amount of lime he put down. And yeah, I'm just hoping this helps. And that is that empty, so let's go and refill it. You know what? Screw it, we're taking the bag with us, so... Yeah, I didn't realise it was such a huge sprayer, like... I thought it was going to be a little dinky one, but nope. I was vastly underestimated on that. And looks like we are putting the line down, but will it count towards it? Will it count towards the state of liming? Or am I just wasting money? Worst case scenario, it's only a grand we're using that one, so I guess that's a silver lining for us. Well, if you call it a silver lining, but Downside now is we'll need to go up and down, like side to side in the way. Just make sure we get everything. So there we go, we are rhymed. And yeah, she needs to go every so often, just go boom. And there we go. Does that count towards here? Oh, I generally do not know. But, I'll oh, just get the last little bits. If this doesn't count, it's like for the, the half we've already done, I am absolutely stupid. But anyways, we are approaching the end of January. So, next time we'll be in February. And we're going to need to pay another grand and get the other two, the other two fields done. But yeah, was that all worth it? Let's have a look here, shall we? Or not, because the worker stopped. Lovely. Luckily, the bag is only at the dealership around the corner. And if you have a look on the PDA, 
Phew, that is lucky that I'm still counted as under lockdown. For a second there, I thought, dang it, we popped up there, but nope. We managed alright, so what I'll do is finish off the episode. Let's get the worker back on this. We better charge an exuberant amounts of money for this, but I'm guessing it's winter work now and other things, so. And it's at night as well, technically. Saying that, yes, yeah, half past six, but. So let's get dark quite early, so. Let's go and get Terry on this, so. Off goes Terry. And, oops, left the convoy running. Oh, I do like that. That is a nice little. See if I was to say, but yeah, I'm not sure if the car trader, the car, well, not the car the truck bed, but let's put canoe in it. I don't think so. If that's the case, then we need to make two trips. Well, if that's the case, then we we'll want to be in. Just like hay and that hay and straw. Lovely. So, anyways, 8,000 years to sell. And they're at the ooh, farmer's market where we were just recently. So, you know what? Let's go and sell these. I'll say sell, but I think for this first load. We're gonna get none of this is extra, so we'll see what how much the contract is completed from this. And then if we have left with a couple of thousand litres then yeah we'll sell it. it. Does take a while to sell. So that is what 68% transport, so yeah, it's gonna be most of the other loading tins. At least if it gives us a little bit left, then... Because what? It's grand the, the, the contract is... What? Two grand? Oops. That was close. Don't be on your phone and drive. So, 57. 2600 quid, so... Oops. That was a bit snappy there. Yeah, a little bit of a snap. What was I saying? Contract. Yeah, that was it, so... 2700 quid just for the contract itself, so. Uh, yeah, just damaging the shops. A <laughs> header trader. Don't go and tell them, please. There we go. Yes, yeah, so look at that. It's a proper noise, it is. Nope, do not transport just yet, so. He says fill up and see how much of this is ours. Well, let's just see what we get. So, next time we're going to be February. Days are hopefully starting to get a little bit longer than that. But as we've learned, we'll make sure we actually do some work early. So, Ooh, seeing that, 57 is done, 2300 quid. You know what? That, I am not going to complain. I'm just looking at any those plan contracts. 27. It's not local here. If it's like local fields, I'll go and snap them up and do them. Nope. 36. Uh, same situation that's up north. So, no. Oh, no, south, sorry. By uh, one of the cell points for the other contract. So. Oh well, yeah, obviously try to do two or three contracts a month if we can. Obviously there's going to be months where we can't do it, like technically we shouldn't be doing these contracts at the moment, but desperate for cash now, we're at 10 grand now, breaking into the five figure sum, so but yeah, hopefully we can start looking at it into other stuff in the future. 
But anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel freaking down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very just to do. Hope you're nice day. But for now, it's going to be far more Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.